Serious Project Management for Teams. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And in today's video, we are taking a look at Backlog by New Lab. Now, New Lab actually produces a number of products to help teams collaborate online. But in today's video, we are taking a look at their Backlog product, which is designed for project management, especially if you are keeping track track of not just a large number of issues, but especially for those who may be in the software development world, where you're tracking version history, when you're tracking bugs versus requests, and you want to see things such as Gantt charts and maybe burn down charts as a part of your project management tool. So let's start out here on the issues screen. And I've created a project which is called Customer Requests. One of the things that you're gonna see right out of the box is that there's a large number of ways in which you can filter and quickly get to the information that you're looking for here. So I've just got a small sample of both a bug, a couple of tasks, and a request here. You can quickly see the status of each. And in fact, they give you so much detail on this opening screen that I need to scroll over to the right. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing because what I really enjoy about backlog is that they give you view options on most of the screens that you encounter with. So if I click view options right here, I can immediately adjust what is displayed on the screen in front of me. Maybe I don't want to see quite as many columns in this preview or this overview uh, section of the software. So I can quickly make those changes here. But let's start out by adding an issue, just so I can give you a better feel, a better taste of what's going on here within Backlog. So right off the bat, we've got a choice. Is this a task? Is it a bug? Is it a request? Uh, I'm going to say it's a bug in this case, and let's just give it a simple name. Uh, homepage is not loading uh, fast. All right, we can give it a full description here. Nothing too fancy here. It's a basic description. You can add uh, certain editing and, and add add links and so forth. But the real power to backlog, I think, is what happens below the name and the description. And that is all the additional detail that you can add. So status is obviously new because we're creating this one, but we can change that status uh, once this particular task or item has been created. Uh, priority category. So for example, in this particular example, I'm supposing that this is software development. So maybe it's a certain point of the page where, you know, this, uh, this bug is happening or where this, uh, yeah, where this bug is happening. Start date, estimated hours and actual hours. Now, again, you might be working in a field beyond just software development where these are applicable, but especially when you're designing, when you're developing and fixing software, these two fields are critical. And no, you don't have to add a special add-on. You don't need to unlock a special feature. This is all built right into Backlog. Let's look at some of the other options that we have here on the right-hand side of the column. Uh, I can simply click this button to assign it to myself, or I can look and assign it to someone else on my team using the dropdown. Are there particular milestones in this particular uh, project? In this case, my milestones correlate with the version number. So let's say we wanna have this bug fixed by version 2.2. And of course, the start date and the due date are on the same row. Last but not least, we can attach files if we want to. I'm going to leave that off for just now. And we can notify particular new users if need be. So I'm going to select Add um, as we've added this issue. And let's go back to that issue screen so we can see it with the rest of the issues which have been displayed here. So as we can see, uh, we've got uh, the home page is not loading fast. This is where that issue is at the moment. I'm going to reopen up this particular issue just to show you the difference once an issue has been created. So we've got all this great summary information up front, right? We've got things like priority, version number, where you want to see it at the front of the screen. But one of the things that I really like is that as comments are added, as you may have additional detail up here, I love that they have this floating bar at the bottom. So I can always attach a file, 
add a comment or change its status no matter where I am, no matter how lengthy this particular item is. And I love that type of functionality. I don't have to scroll, scroll, scroll to get to the comment section. I don't, go to, I don't have to go looking for the attach file button. It's all where I want it to be. And in this case, it's only been opened at this stage. So let's change the status at this place. And let's say, let's say it's in progress. Again, I've got all this information right in front of me. I don't have to go scrolling uh, up and down or to the left and right. I can say this is in progress. Uh, I started this today. Uh, we don't have a due date yet. Well, let's make sure we have it done by the end of the week. Uh, let's make sure there's a milestone attached to it as well. And of course, your milestones and your version numbers can be different. And I'm going to estimate that this is going to take me 16 hours um, of time to do. So I'm going to I'm going to submit that issue. Uh, things are updated immediately, of course, as we would expect it to. And then we can go back to that issue screen. So I'm not going to get into the details of the advanced search and filtering here. Of course, you can click on any one of the column headers and it will filter it for you in that way. But let's look at some of the other features of Backlog. Uh, Backlog comes with a built-in wiki. So if you need a wiki page, here you can add a lot of further detail for members of your team. Of course, there's also a repository for all of your files, not simply just the files that you've attached to certain issues, but maybe you have other other files that you want to reference on a regular basis. A Gantt chart is built right into the interface. So if you prefer this type of view, or if you want to view your projects or your requests or your bug tracking in this way, uh, you can do so here as well. Last but not least, I want to take a look at both the home screen and the dashboard. Now, when I select home here, I'm still within my customer requests project. So what I like about this is that this is a, a really nice snapshot of what's going on here within this project. So I've got the recent things that I've added, uh, things that have been changed. Uh, in this case, you know, all of these changes have really been done by myself in this sample project. But it's a nice way to get a nice high level view. How long ago were these changes made in this particular project? And then we've got some other things over here as well. You know, how many are in the open position versus in progress versus resolved? Uh, how many are assi assigned to a particular milestone uh, category? All of these things on the same page. And then the last thing I want to show you is actually the higher level dashboard, because of course, this customer reports is just one of my projects, and I may be dealing with several different projects. So of course, you can customize certain things by adding your logo uh, and so forth. But if you do manage multiple projects and maybe multiple teams, you can get an even higher level view. So the issues that are assigned to me, for example, will show up here and I have other recent updates, which would come in from my multiple project view. So this would be my high level view. Of course, Backlog comes with both a Android and a iOS app as well. So you may want to check that out, how this transfer transfers over uh, to the mobile word world. But uh, overall, very impressed with how Backlog is displayed. So again, if you are dealing with large, serious projects with multiple team members, especially in the world of software development, you're going to want to check out Backlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you give this video a thumbs up, that you leave me a comment down below, and please don't forget to subscribe. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.